Welcome into the seventh edition of the latest with Devin and Brennan. I'm Devin Dobeck alongside my partner in crime, Brennan McLaughlin. Hi. And we're going to be updating you as usual on pro sports Brennan. and high school. Um, so, NBA tread. Oh my. NBA trade deadline today. So um, a lot of moves have been being made, um, and even some ones in baseball that we'll be able to touch on. But with the NBA, let's get right into it. Markel Fultz just recently traded to the Magic. Nah. Um, nah. Anthony Davis will not be trading traded as of today, according to his agent, so they'll have to wait. Um, Mark Gasol traded to the Toronto Raptors. That's very unfortunate for the Celtics. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's going to be a dagger. Um, obviously, only two games behind the Raptors in the standings. They're third in the East, the Celtics. So um, very interesting to see how that will affect the Celtics going in. But Mark a very good basketball player. Raptors didn't really have to give up much of their core to get him either. Hey, Jonas Valanciunas, like, come on. Like, come, dude, Grizzlies, what are you doing? Well, There's I, other teams in the league. The Grizzlies did decide to keep Mike Conley, though, this season, so. Um, I mean, I don't know what team would want to take on his contract, dude. Oh, my God. Like, over $30 million a season for just an average point guard. Yeah, that's true. Um, who else was traded today? Tobias Harris is traded yesterday. To the... To the to Philadelphia 76ers. Which is not good for the Celtics either. <laughs> yeah, so that, but they still have the best odds to win the East, um, surprisingly. Not updated yet, though. As of yesterday, they were uh, favorites by plus 50 over the Buck, or over the 76ers to win the East, which I think is ironic, um, considering you have the Bucks and Raptors behind them. Yeah, and then Ennis Cantor is most likely to be bought out. And the Celtics are interested in him, according to rival GMs, which I got an update from Woj, so that has to be true. Yeah, that'll be interesting for them. Um, yeah, but... JT Realmuto, if we shift into baseball, JT Realmuto traded to the Phillies, so they're going to have a great season. Um, we could go into... That was really all that was made in baseball, but Bryce Harper, that probably increases his odds of signing with the Phillies due to the fact that he is looking to go to a talent to place and win a championship. Um, what other talent does the Phillies have? I don't know. I really don't know. They have Haskins? No. Ryan Hoskins? No. Right. Hos no, no. Haskins is the football player. Hoskins had that. I don't even know, dude. Um, but how do we feel about... The Anthony Davis situation, where do you think he's going to end up? Probably in Boston, because Danny Ainge already had a deal pretty much that he was going to pretty much, like if Celtics could trade for him right now, he already gave the Pelicans a trade offer that will probably be probably come up in July once again, which is Tatum, Al Horford, Marcus Smart, and three first-round picks. I don't, I don't know if I would do that. I mean, Al Horford, I understand that. His contract's huge, so like that could no have way, some Tatum, cap though. relief. I wouldn't do Tatum. I don't know, but I Three don't know. Three first-round picks, that's a lot for Anthony Davis. But if the Celtics are going to be good, what are those picks really going to be worth? That's true. But, yeah, interesting to see what happens with him this summer. But he doesn't want to play in Boston, so I don't know if they really want to pursue him because he really doesn't want to come here. Well, yeah, if Kyrie stays, that's also another thing. But if Kyrie stays, Anthony Davis will probably build a connection with him. And then if they trade out Horford, they'll immediately clear up some cap space and maybe um, convince a free agent to take a little bit of a pay cut, like uh, likes of like Buggy Cousins or something like that, which he did with Golden State to go play there. So honestly, just thinking of a big three of Buggy, like Anthony Davis and Kyrie or like any other free agent that's out there that would just be a media contender. Yeah, basketball's been interesting. Oh, we're forgetting Kristaps Porzingis was traded to the Mavericks in exchange for Dennis Smith Jr. Um, DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan and some other guys. Wesley Matthews. Wesley Matthews. So big. that was probably the biggest blockbuster because it all happened in the course of 20 minutes. Yeah, KP, KP's not going to be um, playing this season at all, but... It's still good for <laughs> good for the Mavericks. So one two punch of Chris Stops and Luca. The European freaking squad, dude. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Yes. Um, all right. Um I think we can 
Shift to hockey, Bruins. Um, still a wild card spot. Um, tough loss last night to the Rangers. They won last night. The Bruins lost 4-3 than the Rangers. Are you drunk? They blew a 3-1 lead? Yeah, in uh, overtime. Or in Jeez. Uh, Halak played good, though. Um, Did he, though? Yeah, he had some huge saves that saved them the game. Um, How was Greg Dobek feeling about that loss? No, he's, <laughs> I don't think he was pleased. I think he went to bed, though. Well, he probably woke up and was probably like, what is this? Hey, but we went and saw them win on Tuesday, obviously. Great yeah. game there. Beat the Islanders 3-1. We went there Shout after the Patriots Shout out to that guy parade. in front of us that was trying to chirp us. <laughs> <laughs> the Patriots parade was Tuesday, so Super Bowl parade. Me and Brennan were there. Took a roadie, um, skipped school, and it was a great day. Um, Wait, Bruins, Bruins still got a point from it. So I yeah. Mean, yeah, that's not that bad. But sticking with football, so Patriots Super Bowl champions. Let's. We haven't talked about the Super Bowl since. Because that was a very boring so, game, and I almost fell asleep. How, you really think it's boring? I wouldn't argue it was boring. Why? Tell, tell me your argument why it was boring. There was no offense. And All right. Offensive think bias about it. It's the lead. same thing as a pitcher's duel in baseball. It's all that defense. is boring to watch. I really don't know because it's... it's oh, yeah, pitcher's duel is like different. People like all the spectacular plays, but when you think about it, it was a good defensive game. Stephon Gilmore had no, that what? Jared Goff play. had people wide open and he just kept missing. Yeah, dude. but... Mm, Tom Brady, it was first play game. of the game, like, it was, threw a it, pick. I wouldn't say it was boring. I would say it was really stressful for both sides because they knew someone was going to break through at one point. Yeah. And Sony was shell. It's bad that I like, legit had confidence the whole entire game. The Patriots were going to win that slugfest. Like, like, I wasn't even worried. Yeah, I mean, I was. I feel like golf was going to, like, when Cooks was open, like, that should have been a touchdown. I was like, afraid Jason of something McCordy like that. Was cooking, I was I was afraid of something like that happening all game, and then he had his opportunity and he blew it. Yeah. So the Celtics were able to catch a break, but. Trade deadline passes. How but... about that halftime show? I think that halftime show was kind of terrible. Um, Travis Scott sounded terrible without auto tune. Oh boy. The best part about that was when SpongeBob came on. Hmm. Even Adam Levine and Maroon 5 weren't that great, I don't think. But mm. I don't know, I still thought it was a good game. Julian Edelman had played unbelievable, 140 receiving yards. It was legit the Patriots offense, MVP. along with Sony Musso. I didn't Sony see it. Michelle. I can't believe why they didn't work James White into the offense, really. I don't think Sony Musso was. was technically the hot hand, so and he scored the touchdown. Yeah, but how about – tell me Brady looked a little off in that game. He looked really bad in that game. Well, I mean, if I saw Ndamukong and Sue and Aaron Donald coming right no, at No, but, my like, face. the first play of the game, Hogan wasn't even open and he tried to force it. Yeah, because Aaron Donald was right in his face. I don't know. He just looked off all game. Like, just making like, – like, on that fourth down play when he was throwing to Gronk, Gronk was in triple coverage and he had a layout and still couldn't get a hand on it. It was just a terrible ball. I don't know. Got I tipped. didn't think Brady was I on remember his that. I got tipped. No, got, that was a different one. It was a little deflected. Defle on that was down, the one to... The fourth down one. It got deflected a little maybe bit, before so it, got it was a little bit behind Saints. him. No, it was ahead of him. Because he dove and it was still... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I Brady looked really off in that one. Um, like, the Hogan ball should have been picked. Luckily, Hogan... Hogan played, like... How about Roby Coleman, though? You're not good, buddy. Yeah, finally shut him up. Um, that was yeah, he was covering Edelman the whole entire game in the slot and got absolutely torched. Like, good for you, buddy. Tom Brady's regressing. Mm. Yeah, but the Patriots' defense, that's the best they've looked in years. Um, Stephon Gilmore, obviously, the pick. Trey Flowers was coming up big. Kyle Van Noy. Um, Jared, yeah. not to bash the Patriots' defense. They played great with the running game and stuff, but Jared Goff was off. Like I know, but they off. held Todd Gurley to 35 rush yards. He, he barely played, though. Um, CJ didn't have much. They had, like, 60 rush yards as a team, the Rams. Um, yeah. I thought the secondary played great. Obviously, they lost yeah. Chung, but then Deron Harmon stepped in and played unbelievable football for them. Um, but, yeah, Gilmore, that was <laughs> a huge play, that pick. But that was a terribly thrown ball. <laughs> that was awful, dude. He like, just forced what are you it. Doing? That was like Brady against the Steelers, honestly. Yeah. But how do you feel? You think Brady's been showing his age? Like, I know everyone's always this saying This season, it. yeah, definitely. Because um, he... I can definitely just see Brady as an aspect like that he's older, so, like, he doesn't want to take as many hits, so mm -hmm. he just launches the ball, and why did I just click on a Keiko lad? Um, yeah. How do you feel? I think Gronk had an unbelievable game he's for them. Done. A few big catches, but yeah, you think I, he's I'm, retiring. Well, it's a $10 million decision. 
if he retires, he loses out on $10 million. But I don't know if he's really worried about money because his body has taken mm -hmm. hit after hit after hit. I mean, he definitely enjoyed his last Super Bowl parade. Wouldn't shock me if he just rode out into the sun. But I know we're always, like, I, after four, Brady's fourth Super Bowl, I thought it was going to be the decline, and yet we've still got two more. Do you really think he can pull a seventh Super Bowl out before he retires? Yeah, because the Steelers oh. are not going to be good. They're, it's all drama there. The Chiefs are going to be the team to beat once yeah, again. Yeah, but and I think they need to make know, some moves. But Patrick in the Mahomes had a magical season. Like I, I just don't see Patrick Mahomes doing that again. Um, because yeah, teams I, were I really starting to figure that. him out at the end. But how do you feel about um, a receiver in the off season? Like obviously, I just got reports that they're paying for Josh Gordon's recap rehab, so they might try and bring. Yeah, him back they said to he's cap. most likely going to be reinstated by training camp. By the way, it's going right now, but you know things can change. Yeah, especially with him. But do you think they should pursue another receiver in the off season? Um, there, there's some good wide receivers coming out of the draft this year. Like a lot of length, not really the like, the slot players that they usually look for, but there's a lot of length coming in the draft. So I can see them going after a player like that. I've also seen them go like reports or like mock drafts of. Kyler Murray going to the Pats because they have some pick that's like in the first round that's like kind of up there and it legit like has Ky and Kyler Murray going there. But I don't see him falling that far though. If he's truly committed to baseball, uh, to football, not baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I definitely see what you mean there. But um, what else? Harrison Barnes, we forgot. Um, Got traded to the Kings from mid game. <laughs> that was funny. The, the coach will just yanks him off the court and goes like, "Yeah, you just got traded, so you're gonna have to sit there until the game ends." <laughs> but I think that wraps up our pro sports. Moving into high school, senior night for um, East Longmeadow hockey. Um, Ron Karate, Jake's, and Trace um, getting their well deserved senior nights as they topped the Agawam three one. Mike Trace had the first goal, and Nick Saraceno had the final two goals. But they've got to win out to make the playoffs. They are playing for – they can't lose. They can't lose if they, they want to make yeah, the playoffs. Yeah, they can't lose. Um, tough schedule playing a team from Boston. Um, obviously, Longmeadow, maybe Westfield again. But it's going to be a good, fun rest of the season for them. And hopefully they can pull out um, something that seems highly unlikely as of right now. But Ron Karate has been a huge spark for them. I wish they had him since – Beginning of the season, you know, maybe would have won a few more games. Um, yeah. Don't get me wrong, Dante's been having a decent season, but should, Ron not, not been, to bash on Dante, but Dante's just smaller than Ronk is. And yeah, like Ronk's bigger than Dante. Like if Dante was bigger, like he would be a nasty goalie. Yeah, we'll have him next and year. And he definitely. also have he has told me that a lot, multiple times that he wishes he was taller. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's going to be a tough schedule for them. Basketball team, I don't think they can lose too many more. I believe they're 5-9. and nine. Their conference record is not bad, though. That, I meant um, league record. We'll see. Um, obviously, they've been led by Anthony Gamaras, uh, Ryan Delaney, those kind of guys, Sebastian O'Neal, who's coming off injury. He'll be back for them, though. Um, Jason Ayala has been starting to heat up. Ray Carter, as usual, running the floor. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it's been a... Interesting year for them, but let's see if they can make one last playoff push. But on behalf of us, I think that wraps it up. So on behalf of myself, Devin Dobeck, and Brennan McLaughlin, and all of us here at LCAT, have a good night. <laughs>